Hello there and welcome. I'm Ole Brugger and if you're new here, I really hope I'll earn your subscription today. This is the last video where I'm going to cover the Fnatic Complete set. And the last thing we need to test out is all the washes and tones. We previously tested the metallics, all the acrylic paints, and the latest I did was all the effect paints. And now I made a test sheet for all the washes. So we better get started. I have laser cut this test sheet and 3D printed some banners. And this time I'm only going to prime everything white. However, I am going to paint each banner in its own color, at least half of it. So we still have one part white and another color that will match the wash on the other side. I also label each banner with the respective color. The dark tone, I will give it ash gray background. The worn stone for the strong tone. And the soft tone, I used Barbarian Flash, and I also did that on the light tone. But I think this is the wrong color for these tones. However, this is how it is, and I won't do it over. For the Safia tone, I used the Dorado Skin, and I think this is a very nice light color for this, and it will work well. For the Rust tone, I used two of the effect paints, the Dark Rust and the Fresh Rust. And I think these will go nicely hand in hand with the rust tone. Some blood colors for the dark red tone. And the angelic red for the red tone. And background for the orange tone will be the demonic yellow. I used the autumn sage for both the green tone and the military shade. I did not put any color on the wash medium, because we are going to get back to that later. I have something special in mind for that. The bright sapphire for the blue tone. And the stratus blue for the dark blue tone. For the purple tone, I used this hexed violet. And we need some pink magenta for the magenta tone. And this was the pixie pink. And then I used the agate skin for the strong skin shade. And the dark skin shade, I used the mocha skin. But let's have a look at the washes themselves. First, I'll start with the dark tone. This is the wash I use the most. It is getting very close to the Newland oil and it has the same properties. So I use this a lot on miniatures and terrain. So I have pretty good stock of this. All the washes has a pretty good consistency. They flow the same and it's just the color that is different on all of them. According to the army painter, some of the washes has been renamed and is still the same as it was in the old war game series. So they haven't changed the recipe for the fanatics on all the washes. A couple of them got a name change and then they added some new colors. The dark tone, the strong tone and the soft tone are actually the same colors as the old quick shades. This was the origin of the army painter, the quick shade dip. Here's the strong tone and this is also one of my favorites. And I use this as many times as I do the dark tone. It has a more brown tint to it and it just looks amazing. I think I should have used a more dark tone underneath this one, but yeah, you still get the idea of how it works. The soft tone is a bit brighter color and it has a bit more brown tint to it. And I don't think it works very well on the barbarian skin color. But uh, let's have a go anyway and you can get your own opinion on how this looks. And the same goes for the light tone. I think the barbarian skin is not the best choice for this, but again, it's a bit brighter brown and it looks great over white and a number of other colors. 
The sepia tone is great. It has a bright yellowish color and it makes everything look like an old picture. I think this works great over all the bright colors. The rust tone is a very cool color and it works great combined with the dark rust and the fresh rust. And I know a banner is maybe not the best and most suitable object to paint rust on, but you still get the idea of how it works. Dark red tone is also a new color in the new Wash series. And as the label says, it's a dark red tone. I think it will be a good supplement for maybe uh, one of the effect paints, the, the dry blood or, or the fresh blood or something. The red tone is, yeah, as it's called, the red tone. It's the same color as the old Army Painter wash, it just has a new label. And it works exactly as the old red tone. Orange tone is one of the new colors and this is a very interesting color. Because, yeah, it is new. And that was why I chose to put it over a yellow color, just to see how it worked out. And I think it looks great. I will definitely use this in the future on a miniature. The green tone is still the same as it was in the old wash set. It still works and behaves the same as the old, so there's no changes here. And the same goes for the military shade. This is a bit darker and more pale green tone, and it is still the same as the old military shade color from the Army Painter's old set. Then we have the wash medium. I can't apply this to the banner by itself, but we will get back to that later on how it works. But before that, we will have a look into the blue tone. This is a color I have used a lot on the temple build I made for the whole roof. And this is still one of the old army painter washes, so there is no difference here. The dark blue tone is one of the new colors as well, and it is, as the label says, a darker blue tone. And I think this is a pretty cool color and I'm definitely going to use that on a miniature in the future. Because just look at this and you just wait until this dries up. It looks awesome. The purple tone is also one of the old washes and there's no changes to that. But let's have a look on how it looks anyway. And another new color, the magenta tone. And I think with this color, it completes the full palette for all the washes. We have tones in the full spectrum of all the colors that will accompany all the acrylic paints. I actually did a mistake here. This is the dark skin shade, but I'm going to put it on the label with the strong skin shade. And this is a mistake, but I will switch the labels when this is dry. And while we're talking about the skin tones and skin shades, in the old set there was only a flesh wash. And I actually think the dark skin shade is the old flesh wash, but I'm not quite sure about that. And here we have the strong skin shade. It will go under the label dark skin shade. I'm sorry about that, but we will fix it later. But maybe it wasn't a mistake switching these two colors around, because I think the strong skin shade matches this brown color very well. And I think it is this combination I will use when painting a miniature with darker skins. Let's have a look at the wash medium combined with the dark tone. I will put up two drops of dark tone and two drops of the wash medium. Mix it up with the brush and paint half of the banner with this thin down dark tone. And on the other half of the banner I will use an unthinned dark tone just so you can see the comparison of a thinned and an unthinned tone. The difference is maybe a bit hard to see here on the camera, but we will just have to get back to this when everything is dried up. 
I will set it to dry for at least an hour just to make sure that the washes are totally dry. The washes are now dried up and I will leave a close up right here, right now. I'll also leave a close up picture in the community tab right here on YouTube. I think all these washes are insanely good. They're very consistent and I think the colors are very bright and now they really cover the full spectrum of all the acrylic paints. I really think the addition of all the extra colors that Army Painter did really suits the palette for all these washes. And now you have support for all the colors of the acrylic paints. Do you need all these watches? Well, in my opinion, I like the flexibility and not have to mix up any colors and I can just splash it on when I need it. But you don't need all the colors. Just pick a few and uh, use them and try them out and maybe just buy a couple of them when you need them in the specific colors. This is pretty much it for now. Thank you so much for watching this to the end. I really appreciate you all being here as usual. And if you already haven't done it, please hit that subscribe button. And please leave a comment down below. I would really love to hear what you think about all these washes. And if you are one of those persons that hit the dislike button just because, I would also like to hear in the comments why you pushed that dislike button so I can improve on my videos. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye for now.